Question 13 from Section 2 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination from the SQA. A student carries out an experiment to investigate the charging of a capacitor using the circuit shown. You can see the circuit's got a switch S, it's got an ammeter A, it's got a 220 kilo ohm resistor in series with a 47 microfarad capacitor, of which is a voltmeter across the terminals of the 47 microfarad capacitor. It's got a variable voltage supply of 0 to 15 volts, and you've got a stopwatch. Now, for two marks, it's asking us to describe how the results of this experiment are obtained and used to show how the voltage across the capacitor varies with time while the capacitor is charging. Well, the first thing we do is we'll have to observe the potential difference across the capacitor when the minute we close the switch and we start the stopwatch. So the first thing we do is we close the switch, the switch is closed, the charging begins, and we start the stopwatch as the switch is closed. Then what we do is at regular time intervals, we see them about every 10 seconds or thereabouts, we record the potential difference across the capacitor. And once we do that and the capacitor is fully charged, we'll be able to plot values of the time and the potential difference V across the voltmeter. Then what we do next is construct a graph and the graph will be along these lines here. You're going to have the time get along the way and voltage across the capacitor going up the way and as you can see from the little insert into our movie here you can see the shape of the graph that's plotted when we look at the voltage across the capacitor the voltage across the capacitor rises up as it's charging and this is found by just measuring the value of the voltage across the capacitor at certain time intervals and recording them so that's what we do to get that particular information Question 13, Part B. The capacitor is initially uncharged. The variable voltage supply is set at 12 volts and switch S is closed. For three marks, we've got to calculate the maximum energy stored by the capacitor when the capacitor becomes fully charged. Well, our equation sheet, a relationship sheet, gives us that the energy stored in a capacitor E is going to equal to one half times the value of the capacitor times the maximum voltage across it squared so a half cv squared so all we have to do is put those numbers in one half times the value of the capacitance which is going to be 47 microfarads if we look at our diagram so 47 microfarads becomes 47 times 10 to minus 6 times and you're setting up to 12 volts so it's going to be 12 all squared do that calculation and you end up with an energy of 3.4 times 10 to the minus 3 joules, 3.4 millijoules. That's the energy stored in the capacitor. Question 13, Part B continued. Part 2 is to suggest an alteration the student could make to the circuit to increase the maximum energy stored by the 47 microfarad capacitor. Now, we're dealing with a supply voltage which is going to go from 0 to 15 volts. Now, the energy stored in the capacitor, we know from a previous answer, E, is equal to half times the value of the capacitance times V squared. Now, the value of the capacitor is going to remain the same, so C remains the same. So really, we've only got one alteration we can do in that second, and that's to increase the value of the supply voltage from the 12 volts we used, increase supply from 12 volts uh, to 15 volts. And that one change will mean that there's going to be more potential difference across the capacitor and therefore that means that this value here is going to increase which in turn means you're going to increase the energy. So one suggested alteration would be quite simply to increase the supply voltage to 15 volts and that will give you a bigger energy, a larger energy stored in the capacitor. 